A lot of people have noticed a massive 40 by 80 foot American flag flying above South Reno. This flag is just huge and it includes the city of Reno. They've taken note of this too. Yeah. They've noticed as well. So Landon Miller joins us now live. Landon, you first talked about this story yesterday, but some things have happened since then. What happened? Well, it's more like what didn't happen, Ryan. Apparently the uh, Sierra RV and its parent company, Gander RV, they needed a building permit for the pole of the flag. Take a look at the flag behind me here. And that building permit, I guess, never happened. We are talking about the pole, not the flag itself. And if you remember our story yesterday, the city says there are no rules preventing the size of a flag, an American flag in Reno. But apparently a 135 foot long pole is just a little too big. Old Glory still flies in South Reno, all 3,200 square feet of her. Yesterday, we did a story about the size of the flag. It's big. Today's story is about its pole. It's a big pole. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Our story got the attention of the city of Reno's code enforcement. It was unaware of the pole's size. We don't have an issue with the flag. Our only concern is the safety of that pole at that height. Sierra RV tells us that the pole is about 135 feet long and took them only four and a half hours to put up. They did, came in one day, set it up, and it, by noon they were done and out. The city requires anything taller than three feet to get a building permit. There is one exemption to this rule, flagpoles, but that's only 30 foot tall flagpoles, not like this, 135 feet. The city says Sierra RV did not pull a building permit. So Tuesday morning, code enforcement issued a notice to the RV company, not a citation, just a notice. He was very cooperative and he stated he'll do whatever is necessary to come into compliance. Woodley says the RV company will have to get a permit, then an engineer's stamp, then inspected by the city, then it'll be good. The alternative though. And if it's necessary, we may require them to pull out the pole. However, the city insists that it wants the flag and its pole to stay the legal way and not for it to be removed. As a U.S. Marine, <laughs> foreign war veteran, I can tell you for sure that is not what we want. And one thing that we haven't really gotten a lot of is what neighbors think. This is Preakness, a horse who lives next door. And Preakness, do you have any thoughts on the flag? Nope, no comment on that one. But we actually did hear from the general manager earlier today, and he tells us that uh, they are going to comply with everything that the city has requested. That includes all of the documents. And they're actually really impressed with how many people, Ryan, you did a thing on Two Cents earlier in the day about how many people have come up showing their support for this American flag. And this horse, too. The horse likes it. I like the horse. He's been my buddy for the last hour or so. For now, me and Preakness are covering the story live in South Reno. Landon Miller, 2 News. It's same, really, not Preakness. Oh, sorry. He makes friends everywhere he goes. Yep. Everywhere. We've been